All right, DJ XL here, DFW DJ School with your Serato DJ tip. Today we're going to cover Serato Video DJ recording. So we got our Serato opened up, We've got two songs loaded in our decks. As you can see in our extras tab up here, we have the effects, we have uh, our sampler, and our recording, but video is not an option. You have to go online to, to purchase Serato Video if you don't already have it for a fee, serato.com. Um, I do have it, so let's go ahead and enable it. And since we're going to do a recording, let's go down here to recording quality. Uh, you can go all the way from 360p all the way to 1080p. But for today's purpose, we're going to do 360 just so we don't have any difficulties. And we've got our quality selected. Close it out that tab. You'll see that our video tab is now enabled. Let's go ahead and click that. Pops open all these nice little boxes. This box here is for our external monitor. So if you're doing video mixing, you would simply slide that over to your external monitor. But since we're not using that, let's go ahead and close that out. Here you see your master. This is deck one. This is deck two. This is your master. Um, select another. Here we go, transition. Um, in other videos coming up, we'll, we're going to cover the uh, video effects as well as the uh, transitions. But today we're just going to cover recording. All right, so we've got our recording tab enabled as well. So let's go down to recording. Uh, click on this tab and you'll see video mix because we want to record not an audio mix, but a video mix. Select our recording location. I have placed mine inside my uh, movies folder and then a subfolder. DJ Excel Serato video mixes. So this is where all my video recordings will go. All right. So we've got the, the video mix selected. We've got the video location selected. Now we've got the uh, the gain. We want to make sure our levels are okay. So let's test a level. Okay, the levels could be a little, little louder. Yeah, we want to stay out of the red. All right, so that one looks good. Go over to this one. And that one looks good as well. Again, we want to stay out of the red because we don't want any clipping as far as the audio to go. All right, and as far as recording, it's just straight up recording just like you would an audio mix. You select record and you're ready to go. As you can see the crossfader is fully active. It goes back and forth between the two sources. Again, we're not doing any serious mixing here. I just want to show you the capabilities. And all of your functions are fully enabled. For instance, the backspin. If you do the backspin, the video will go backwards. Just again, everything that applies to audio will apply to your video. So when you're done with your recording, just hit record again that's going to stop your recording we've got it at one minute even 0.37 there now you want to title your, your video mix so let's just call it a uh, Serato video test one click save now it saved it to the location that I that I designated it to but it also saved it right here in a crate which Serato provides for you Called recorded so everything that you record is going to be saved to your Serato recorded crate and it's available for you right there it's also available in the place that you just saved it and there we see we have it right there ready to go now let's take a take a look at it and see if it did indeed record just as I performed it
and we see that it, it did indeed record. Um, um, this was not available on Scratch Live as far as all the added features. Um, so uh, the new Serato video features are only available in Serato DJ. Um, that's a question I get asked a lot. No, the, the new Serato video with all the features are available only in Serato DJ. And you get to, it's a separate purchase. So it's yet another reason for DJs to jump to Serato DJ if you have not already for the, for the cool uh, updates. All right, DFW DJ School, DJ XL. As always, practice, practice, and practice some more.